Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sweet Talk with Ben and Rachel. Today's Sweet Talk video, we're going to be focusing on the calendar application within Construction Suite and Construction Online. Let's go ahead and jump right to it. We're going to click on the calendar tab over on the navigation bar here to bring up the calendar view within Construction Suite. By default, you see that this is the month view. I'm just laying out all the days for you. Now, when it comes to creating a new activity, all you have to do is just double click on the day that you want to create this activity. So now that we have that new activity window open, we'll go ahead and enter in a subject. So with the subject entered here, we now can go ahead and enter in the start time and end time for this activity. Um, or we can go ahead and select for this to be an all-day event. We're just going to leave it checked. And with the time selected, we can go ahead and now choose to enter in a description or details uh, pertinent to this activity. Or we can go ahead and assign it to a related project. If you don't want to assign this task to a specific project, then it will just be uh, your own personal activity that only you can view. However, let's go ahead and assign it to the Abernathy residence for today. Uh, we see that the colored globe directly next to the name denotes that this project is in Construction Suite and Construction Online as well. So we'll click OK there and go ahead and create the activity. And we'll notice that it has been created here on the calendar view within Construction Suite. Once Ben's added the task in Construction Suite, we're going to see it automatically transfer to Construction Online. And we can view that information by launching Construction Online from this box in the left-hand corner of your Construction Suite system. When you open Construction Online, it's going to immediately launch you into the Upcoming Events tab, where it's going to show you a week or two ahead um, in your schedule. You can click on the This Week tab or select the Scheduling or Calendars tab on the left-hand side to bring you to the week or month view in your Construction Online calendar. As you can see, the Meet with Client to Review Plans activity has been uploaded in Construction Online and associated to the Abernathy Residence Project. Now that it's in online, we can actually click Edit Event, which would allow us to update the subject, add any additional notes or details like location, or add any assigned resources or related resources or make this event private. When new activities are added to your calendar in Construction Online, they're immediately available for anyone who's been added as a contact for that project, unless you mark it as private. When you mark an event as private, it's only available to your assigned and related resources. Assigned resources can edit the task, whereas related resources can view only. We can also update the time, and once we finish making these changes, we'll go ahead and select to save so that it'll automatically download that information into Construction Suite. Now, we can also do the same thing in Construction Online with creating new tasks and having those sync directly with Construction Online. To create a new task, we'll simply select the date or time that we want to create that new event and provide a subject. We can enter a time or select advanced to associate it with the correct project or calendar. Again, we can leave this assigned to the general calendar. As Ben was saying earlier, it's going to be a private activity at that point, only myself um, can see the actual general calendar, or I can share it with the Abernathy Residence Project, in which case all contacts for that project can see it. We'll go ahead and leave it at uh, nice and early in the morning at 6 o'clock and select Add Event to save it to our calendar in Construction Online and have Ben show you how it's going to appear in Construction Suite. Once we are back in Construction Suite, uh, we're going to be looking for the information from Construction Online. Now, Construction Suite will update on its own every few moments to make sure you have the most up-to-date information, or we can click on the Refresh button up in the top portion of the screen here. Once everything has been refreshed, you can see where we have the same changes to the activity that I had created in Construction Suite. We see that those changes that Rachel made have taken place here, that they are now being reflected in the description column here uh, within the Edit Activity screen as well as the new activity that Rachel created within Construction Online as well. This information pulls down uh, directly from Construction Online and really shows you the benefit uh, that the two systems have to help keep you and your employees directly on track. Uh, now you have the flexibility to access the same information, whether you're in the office or in the field, 
be able to effectively collaborate with your team. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's Sweet Talk. Have a great day.